Okay, Midsummer Thank Madness you. now, live from uh, Blackpool, where Britain's biggest science fiction convention is being held this weekend, hosted by SFX magazine. Among the candy floss and kiss me quick hats, you'll have no trouble spotting <laughs> the delicates. They're the uh, extraterrestrials, vampires and superheroes strolling down the brom. So kind of standing out like a sore thumb in his summer casuals is our man on the spot, Mike McLean. What's the matter, Mike? Didn't they have cling on on your size? Thank you very much indeed, <laughs> Richard. I heard that. Yes, I am in Blackpool. I'll deal with you later, Mr. Maidler. I'm here in Blackpool, the home of, well, it's famous for three things. Home of the tower, the big one, that's a ride. Uh, and also the beautiful beaches. <laughs> Well, two out of three ain't bad. But I'm here today for the because for the next few days, a new breed of person has descended on Blackpool, and I'm here at one of the biggest sci-fi conventions. Someone say these people are a bit bizarre, a bit weird. A bit, I'm, I, I, I think you're all great. I think you really are nice people. Some of you are a bit peculiar. Don't look so worried. <laughs> Some are a bit peculiar, but they're absolutely brilliant. Join me a little bit later on. We'll be having a look around this convention. We'll be chatting to a few more of these people. And we'll also be meeting the star of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. That's James Masters, who plays Spike. But first of all, this is Matthew. Matthew, tell everybody who you are. A former peacekeeper captain, Bylar Crease. Some of you thought he was a Darius lookalike, but he's not. <laughs> um, tell everybody what you've forgotten. Oh, I forgot my guns. Yeah. See, good job I brought mine and you can lend mine, so now you're not the business. <laughs> Thank All you right. very much. All right, OK. Thank you. I'm going to just say I saw you in Pirates of Penzance. You were brilliant. <laughs> so that's what's happening here, but it's going to be brilliant. But right now it's back to Richard and Judy in the studio. All right, mate. Catch you later. Thank you. Thank what you. What a bunch. <laughs> yeah, it's a different world, isn't it? Uh, OK, it's let's another get world, really. <laughs> yeah, let's get your brain cells working with look like. Uh, now, we're going over to Blackpool, as we said, now, where uh, Mike McLean is waiting with assorted weirdos at this weekend's massive sci-fi convention. Hello, Mike. Hi, Mike. <laughs> Hello, Judy. Yes, like you said earlier on, I'm in Blackpool <laughs> with uh, some of the biggest sci-fi fans gathered here. This yeah. is the VIP bit area. This is where all the, their heroes will be sat and signing autographs. Look, we've got some big names here. I'll be honest with you, I've never heard of any of them. <laughs> <laughs> but they have travelled far. I, I, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I haven't. But wh tell everybody where you've travelled from. We're from Germany. And what is the attraction with sci-fi? It's, it's something different. It is, isn't it? It's always a gothic looking, if you don't mind me saying so. And, and uh, do, do they all dress in black or...? Not really. Not but really. lots of gothic people like science fiction. Okay. What, what's your particular favourite programme? Um, I don't watch much television. You don't? Well, there's an answer. Uh, we've got Princess Leia here. We've got all this. Uh, earlier on, we met Matthew. He forgot his guns. I had to lend him mine. I want it back. Oh. Thank you. And uh, also, look at this Tomb Raider. See, she, she remembered her guns, Matthew. Yeah, you see, you forgot yours. Go and have one of these. Uh, and a little bit later on, all these people will be sat right here in the conference room. As you can see, there's quite a few going to be sat there. And they're going to be watching some screen. I don't know what's going to be on there. And just over here, they, see what happens is they get a ticket and they queue up. And just over here, they get to meet one of their heroes and have their photographs taken with him. Just come over here, there's a, there's a big star of a programme over here. Uh, let's, let's, let's have a little chat with her and hopefully... I can, can I get my picture taken with you? This is, this is a star. Hello. Well, hello. How are you? Fine, thanks. How are you? Tell her, because you're live on The Nation now, Richard and Judy's show. Hi. Tell everybody what show you're from. A Roswell. OK, and what part do you play? Liz Parker. OK. Is it, is it a great feeling to meet all your fans? Yeah, it's really wonderful. OK. And do you have to, do they have to pay to have the photograph taken with you? Uh, yes. Do you make a few, Bob? And just a few. Good girl, that's what yeah. I like to hear. Is this your first time in Blackpool? Yes, it sure is. I'm enjoying myself. OK. And everybody's queued up. Can I have a photograph taken with you? Sure. Go on, now. Go on. You take the picture. She's never had a picture taken with a big star before. So excited. Yeah, I'm so excited. There you go. See? Uh, join us a little bit later on when we're going to be meeting Spike, this star, live right here. It's all to come. It's very exciting. But for now, it's back to Richard and Judy. Yeah, you, you actually forgot something there, mate. You haven't paid her. <laughs> you haven't paid her for the picture. No, she hasn't paid, she hasn't paid me, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> all right, mate. We'll see you later. Thank you. Um, see you can, later. Can you believe that? They charge for their autographs being... Oh, yeah, that's pretty standard practice. That's what happens, too, when, when quite people sort of visit record shops and things. And still, they, they do they sometimes. Charge. Not all of them, not everyone, but some people do. Blimey. Quite nice. Well, and I they mean, charge quite a lot as well. No one ever asks me for mine, but I wouldn't charge. They did. For our final trip to the weird and wonderful habitat of some of the biggest sci-fi freaks in the world. Currently, they're based on planet, planet Blackpool. And now live, we're going to meet cult TV star James Masters, a.k.a. Spike the vampire from Buffy. Now, Spike is not quite as other vampires. He's a ghoul with a heart of gold. Aren't they a perfect little us? I don't like him. He's insipid, clearly human. Oh, 
Red paint. We can smear a little on the mouth. The blood of the innocent. That's my girl. Mm. Stop that right now. I can hear the smacking. Mm. Honey, we need to talk about the invitations. Now, do you want to be William the Bloody or just Spike? Because either way, it's going to look majorly weird. Whereas the name Buffy gives it that touch of classic elegance. What's wrong with Buffy? Huh. Such a good question. Well, it's a terrible name. My mother gave me that name. Your mother, yeah, she's a genius. <laughs> <laughs> now from Sunnydale to Sunny Blackpool, where James Masters is waiting for us. Hello, James. Hello, Judith. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. Now I know that you uh, Spike is supposed to be an English, a British vampire. Yes, he is. Yeah. But you're not, are but you? But I only do the accent if you pay me. <laughs> <laughs> so you're back to your native Californian today. Yes. Yeah. As always. Why do you... Because I know you've done these kind of uh, science fiction conventions before. Why, why do you do it? I enjoy meeting the fans. I think fans of Buffy tend to be pretty f sophisticated. Yeah. Um, the, the writing on the show demands that you are pretty hip to get it. Uh, irony yeah. is heavily used on the show. Yeah. So in general, the fans uh, are pretty interesting to talk to, actually. They're freaks. And I'm a freak, <laughs> so we get along really well. But do they, I mean, do, do they ask you really, really detailed questions about what happened you know, in the third minute of the 15th episode and why, why was your hair that color on that day? Do they go into all that kind of detail? No, they just usually grab my bum. <laughs> actually, that happened, actually, actually, James, I read that that really did happen at one convention. Some sort of 65 it just happened five. Yes, it just happened five minutes ago, but yes, uh, I think she was more like 75, and she wanted me to clench. <laughs> um, I, I, I gather that, that a lot of people there charge for, for their autographs. Do you charge for people grabbing your bum? <laughs> no, that one's free. <laughs> well, I know we've I got... I think it comes um, with, a, with a ticket. Okay. <laughs> now, I know we've got um, a lot of people around you who are desperate to ask you com um, questions. You're right. So, I'll, Mike. I'll, okay, well, yeah, Mike McLean's been rounding up some Buffy freaks uh, who've got penetrating questions for you, Spike. So, Mike, bring them on, and it's, uh, it's <coughs> kind of a one to one. Let's see it happen. Right, Please. I'll do that, Richard, and I'll have a little squeeze later, knowing yeah. it's free. Um, first of all, what's, what's your question for James? Um, can we expect any more romance between you and Buffy in the next series? Yeah. I think the, <laughs> the thing is, I don't really know. Right. Keep I, it like that, because I've only got a minute. Okay. So keep it like I don't that. know. Keep I think so. Tease him. Tease him, James. That's what I do. Lots What's your question, my love? I want to get you all in. What's your question? Is there, are there any other hints you can give us about what we can expect from season seven? She's nosy. The, again, hints about plot. I, if I knew, I couldn't tell you, because I'd be fired. Good. Don't be nosy. What's your question, man? Hi, James. Because <laughs> you've got such a great British accent, have you ever thought of doing British movies? I would love to come over here and do British stage, television, and movies. I think it's all very high quality. The writing... Uh, here is very good. Well, thank you very much. I could get you a panto at Christmas. You never know, James. Listen, before we go, we've got a surprise for you because he bases himself on you. He's a big fan of yours. Give it up, everybody. Nice round of applause for Steve. Yeah. yeah. Look. Oh, look at that. That is oh, oh, proper wow. television. What do you think? What do you think? Perfect. Quick question for him. Uh, who was your idol when you were growing up? John Savage. John Savage. Well, there you go, Richard and Judy. It's all <laughs> happening here in Blackpool. It's going to be a great weekend. Back to you. Fantastic. Thanks very much indeed, mate. He's got, um, <coughs> I'd say he's got amazing hair, hasn't he? Well, I, I actually think if you're still with us there, does somebody want to grab either the lookalike's bum or the real guy's bum? And, you know, we're happy for that to happen. Um, no. Yeah, I'll do it. There you go. <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> yeah, but he, reminds me, okay. he reminds me a little bit yeah. of, um, of uh, David Bowie in the early days. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. And that's okay. it. For another week. Not to mention another four years.